Hey friends, it's your girl Kimchi Warrior Princess here and today I'll be telling you exactly what to pack for your business trip. I've been on a ton of trips, about 20 countries, 40 states, many of them multiple times. This is a compilation of some outfit inspiration to take you from day to night, also some useful packing tips and some foodie adventures sprinkled in here and there. Also, it helps me out big time with YouTube's algorithm if you subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. Alright, so let's start with some outfits here. So I like to begin with my airport outfit. I'll typically repeat this outfit for my arrival and departure to and from the destination. I simply paired a skinny jean with a white cami from Forever 21 and also a Gucci navy blazer that I got from The Real Real, which was a secondhand purchase. So right now I'm in the American lounge at the airport and I'm gonna check out the bathroom here. So I like to keep stuff casual when I'm traveling, but still professional. So you can see this outfit here that I'm wearing. Kind of feeling it today. And again, these shoes feel like butter because I know I'm gonna be getting a ton of steps in. The American Lounge was only doing drinks and these snack boxes for free. Not bad when you just need a quick snack. So this business casual look includes a white blouse by Shein, camel trousers from Nordstrom, and also I replaced the belt that came with the trousers with my own, and I finished it with some nude pumps. To take this outfit from day to night, I literally just swapped out the pants for a faux leather skirt by Altered State, giving off a sexy yet sweet vibe. This is my favorite suit ever. It's by Aritzia, and if you need suit advice, I recommend my video where I go in depth about what to shop for. So after I set aside my travel day outfit, this is the next outfit I plan, um, which is my most important day outfit, AKA the purpose for your trip. I lay it flat in my check bag and I fold the pants one time. For evening, I may swap to this blush leather pencil skirt by Express and swap to more fun heels as well. Scarves add style and warmth, or if you're like me, it kind of screams like I'm a douchey person from California who likes to wear this just for style and not warmth. <laughs> one unexpected outfit idea is to wear a one-piece jumpsuit in a neutral color plus a blazer on top. So this jumpsuit is from Altered State, the blazer is from Fashion Nova. I paired it with the navy Aquatalia heels that I wore in that travel day outfit. But at nighttime, you could literally just wear this exact outfit. Or you can remove or swap out the blazer or drape it over your shoulders. Animal print is very doable for business casual if done correctly. This leopard bodysuit is by Shein. The Chanel coat is from The Real Real. The skirt's from Banana Republic. And I paired it with some nude pumps. So this look reminds me of Gwen Stefani's music video, Cool, which is one of my favorites, by the way. She has a timeless style. An elegant way to do all black is with this Shein bodysuit with pearl detailing, this black tie-waist pants from Nordstrom, and black pumps. For an evening look, I simply layered this black strapless Dolce & Gabbana dress over the bodysuit. The wrap dress easily transitions as a day-to-night look. This one is from Walmart from when I was like in high school. I paired it with some nude pumps, and then in the evening, I just swap out for some fun heels and a cute purse. I got this red dress from Forever 21 like 10 years ago. I just paired it with some nude pumps for a great daytime business casual look. And for night, I just swapped out for some black pattern tights and added a black pump. So right now I'm taking myself to dinner because sometimes it's actually nice to take yourself on a date. I used to be quite self-conscious about dining alone, but I've gotten more comfortable with it. Drinks at this place were ridiculous, so I stuck with water. I started with the Big Eye Tuna with shaved foie gras, lychee, and pine nuts. I had to Google what foie gras was. The fattiness of it melted 
perfectly with the tuna, just like the waiter said. It was amazing. Then I had the crispy lamb ribs with chili yogurt, tingly salt, and cilantro. This was the best lamb I ever had. Sometimes meals are the only opportunity to explore on a business trip. This soup was butternut squash puree, ginger, and spicy croutons. Delicious. And this seafood risotto did not skimp on the seafood. It had big chunks of lobster, crab, shrimp, and scallops. This limoncello sorbet and citrus almond cake was so freaking good. And I also enjoyed this beautiful romantic fountain show that was playing outside as well. So let's pack everything in addition to the outfit shown earlier. All right, so on to like the random stuff. So you don't know where like the climate or whatever. I always like to look up the weather before I go. That's actually a very good idea before you start any of this packing. I like to throw an umbrella in here. Um, also a jump rope just because uh, you don't know what the gym situation will be. This way I just have like a very quick way to get a tiny bit of cardio in. Um, and then like, it depends on your room too, because I've had like super tiny rooms where it's like popcorn ceiling that's super low to the ground and I tested it out and I like, whacked off the whole part of the ceiling. Also, this is the most banged up <laughs> box of cutlery. People always forget this when they travel, um, especially if you're staying more than a couple of days. It's not until you have the food in front of you when you realize like, oh crap, what do I eat this with? Lufa, throw that in. Pasties, you never know if what the bra or top situation is. Throw those in there. I like to throw nice shoes in a sort of bag like this that protects it. So I've got like some croc loafers from Banana Republic. No matter where you go, always bring a pair of sandals just because you might need something to walk around your wherever you're staying at in. Um, even if you don't plan to like be in warm weather at all, it's always good to have a pair. All right, so more clothes, some just generic plain tops and tank tops for workout sleep and casual, like super casual wear. Uh, pajamas, a uh, sweater. So I've got a sweater in here. I'll also bring a sweater in my carry-on just because lately planes have been so freezing cold. A pair of these, so these are just like uh, generic spandexy black shorts. Um, if you if you bring a dress that's kind of like flowy or can blow up or, you know, you just don't like that feeling of being like so exposed. <laughs> these are my favorite things to wear underneath. Some leggings, casual shorts. Uh, bring, I like to bring those. Um, another sweater just in case. I won't show you, but I like to bring like 2.5 times the number of days in underwear. Um, maybe I'm one of those like overpackers of underwear. I also put socks in there, pantyhose spanks, sheer black for professional settings or um, like a patterned black tight like I showed earlier for a more fun night out type setting during colder weather. Their leg is also just very elegant and nice, especially when the weather is nice as well. Um, a shower cap because you never know if you're gonna end up at like Motel 6 or something and they don't have one. One of these little backpacks, just because if you're like walking somewhere where you don't want to carry like a nice purse. Hand lotion, actually that'll go in my carry-on. Sunscreen, this is the best sunscreen by the way, this Obaji sunscreen. Uh, SPF 50. I use this every day on my face. Um, it's a matte sunscreen. It doesn't like smell. It doesn't make you chalky. It's like the perfect balance. And I have kind of like combination dry skin. Combination dry sensitive. That's like the worst combination ever. I always forget this. Like, I will forget a small purse. This is screaming like early 2000s vibes, which I really think is like on trend these days, I need to like pull out my Juicy Couture tracksuit and wear this out. And I'll throw in the rest of my shoes. Okay, so the number one way to look very elegant and classy or very like trashy, but in you could be wearing like super expensive clothing, but look like trash is if you don't steam it. So I always bring this steamer along with me. This is like the most basic one off of Amazon. But seriously, get yourself a steamer if you don't have one. It's life changing. It's like the best. 45 seconds you'll spend before you go out that can dramatically improve your appearance. I also like to throw a curler and an iron. At the very least, I will bring this iron and I won't bring this curler. And now just a quick break for some random thoughts before we finish packing. So I'm walking over to my gate right now and it was kind of cool. I had a colleague of mine 
actually someone who's probably way more important and makes more money than me um, congratulate me and give me an award and a small gift and say that working with me was refreshing because I had a personality compared to others who do not have a personality, I guess. But anyway, I took it as a compliment. I really value. So it made it to be like an awesome time. Now back to our main program. All right, so moving on to your carry-on. So I literally just have like a basic black backpack, uh, hand lotion, Dramamine, just in case, but like lip gloss, tampons. On the side, I think I have my hand sanitizer. Sunglasses, eye masks, just in case. I'm not a big fan of this on the plane though, because I feel like these days you'll lose all your senses because your nose is covered, your mouth is covered, your ears may be covered if you're wearing headphones. If your eyes are covered, then it's like four of your five senses are being blocked. And I don't really like that in the case of an emergency. So unless I'm traveling with someone very trusted right next to me, I do not use this. And then these wipes, just in case. Camperin. This is my shimmer body powder from Victoria's Secret that has been discontinued. I think everything is better sparkly. I am a bit of a rebel and I don't put everything in one Ziploc bag. I just kind of throw stuff in here and uh, nobody's ever said anything to me. So here's to hoping that this will continue. <laughs> An extra jacket or something just in case that the plane is freezing. Mints in here. Yes, so I've got my bleaned out masks. Um, I'll typically, I'll probably set one aside and wear that at the airport. Next is my Bujo. If you don't know what a Bujo is, you can Google it. It's literally short for bullet journal. So I saved you the five seconds. I'm really into hand writing out all my appointments and things like that. I like, there's like a neat little pocket in the back. So I like to throw my business cards in here because normally during an important meeting, I'll be taking notes and then I don't have to pull out an extra business card holder or something. They're already in the back, in the back pocket. So it's extra handy. I also have a ruler in here because I, um, when I cross things out, I have to have them in a straight line. Um, don't make fun of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, this goes in here, a pen, a couple pen, pen or two I'll put in here as well. Um, also I like to throw my Clarisonic in my carry-on because my greatest fear is this going off in my luggage and People asking, April, why is your bag vibrating? So anyway, this goes in my carry-on. Also jewelry, um, this is kind of a mess right now, but I like to put them in little individual bags so they do not scratch each other. Also the last things that I like to put in here in the morning of will be my electronics and chargers. Okay guys, we are all packed and ready to go. And one last thing, if you forget to pack any of this stuff, it's all replaceable crap, pretty much in the end. The one thing that you do need to pack is your confidence because who you are as a person is incredibly valuable. Thank you so much again for watching and remember to hit subscribe so you can help my channel out and help it grow. And remember to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you hated it, be sure to hit that thumbs down twice. Thanks guys. You can also follow me on Instagram at Kimchi Warrior Princess, and I'll see you guys in the next video.